another day another video welcome back to my channel everybody today we are watching the vampire diaries this is episode one of season three hopefully guys have been enjoying the whole of the season so far we've got the whole season one uploaded and the whole of season two uploaded mental it's like 45 episodes this is the 45th one i believe that's been uploaded to the channel and it's absolutely crazy and it's just going up and up and up in it it's up and down with the with the storylines of emotions and deaths and people coming in and going it's mental it's really really good i can't believe that uh we're this far into it already we're definitely steamrolling ahead now i'm going to do a rapid rapid recap of season two um we started off with Catherine. she she appeared finally after season one she appeared she ended up turning caroline she was the first vampire that that had been turned she said game on to the brothers you know started loads of little different chaos with her mason come in found out there's such things as werewolves tyler's one um <laughs> which is crazy bonnet then started hating a bit on um on the vampires because and damon pretty much because she she said that if damon and anyone does anything to start he, um hurting humans then um there's going to be uh blood to pay pretty much and she she ended up attacking damon at the start didn't she she's she's got really strong now she can um use uh mind control and take people out so she took damon out she nearly tried burning him um <laughs> elena got in the way and then keep steamrolling ahead damon then uh turned into like a, a nice like lovey guy kind of um rescued well there was a lot elijah got introduced um and after elena was kidnapped by someone called rose damon ended up getting in like some sort of relationship with rose uh really enjoyed the company it was really nice done a nice thing when he ended up killing her but he only ended up killing her because <laughs> elijah's here he's an original then he did the blood of a doppelganger which is elena to um release a curse which uh people want in different ways the wolves want it to be released so they could transition whenever they want and the vampires want it released so they can walk in the day um klaus he is the main uh original uh, strongest guy he found out he's a hybrid he's mixed between wolves and vampires he he was the only one that's actually got a curse on him that needed he wanted that to break so then he can transition be like the superior alpha of everyone a mixture of all of them bonnie's uh, powers started to progress really more they found a spot where emily was burnt um she can go in she could channel it and um she can um pretty much do lots of different things now she ended up bringing jeremy back alive after the sheriff Forbes shot him in the last episode she didn't mean to try shooting damon shot him he died she brought him back to life gonna be consequences finding out what they are as we ended the last season <laughs> jeremy come down the stairs seen vicar seen uh, anna maybe you can see the dead now that might be his consequence john ended up sacrificing his life for elena obviously um, she needed to die for um klaus to do the full transition he had to kill a wolf a vampire and um and the doppelganger so what he done is he killed jules she was one of the wolves that was introduced um, and then he killed jenna he tried like bit her she transitioned into a vampire and he killed her can't believe jenna's gone what's the light gonna do we never know maybe he's gonna be the legal guardian for these because he did stay in the last episode said that he's gonna stick around then obviously killed elena she come back alive but she didn't come back alive because um because of the reason that we was thinking because damon dropped his blood inside her which caused everybody to kick off um he said that he doesn't really care he wants us to keep her alive so he's gonna put her blood in then it's her choice but instead of her transitioning to be a vampire, which she said she doesn't want to be, so what's going to happen between her relationship with Stefan? You know, he's realising that she never wants to transition and she wants to grow old as a normal person. She come back because John sacrificed his life. Bonnie put a spell on it, I believe, um, and his soul maybe transitioned into Elena. He died. She, she was reborn. Mental. Loads of stuff going on. Like I said, ended with Jeremy seeing uh, supernatural dead entities already and it's absolutely crazy now I might have just absolutely messed up that whole recap <laughs> but that is where I currently are if you didn't follow it I'm sorry please just go back and watch it because it is way better than I just explained so if you're looking forward to this new season new characters hopefully Klaus and Elijah storyline progressing even more oh please stick around because I cannot wait so if you do enjoy it please smash a like subscribe if you're new thanks clicking on my video and let's jump into it I am so sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. I feel like I've been walking forever. Yours is the first house I come to, so I was just hoping I could use your phone. I promise I'm not a serial killer. I just want to use your phone. It's a quick one, yeah. Would you trust anyone that comes up in the middle of the night? Yeah, it says, promise I'm not a serial killer. Can you use your phone? <laughs> I'd be like, this guy's definitely a serial killer. I can come Inviting in. him in. No. Oh. I'll get the phone and I'll bring it out to you. Smart. Show me a little southern hospitality. I'm told Ray Sutton lives here. He's almost never here. He's on the road mostly. Get the door. <laughs> oh, Stefan. I love it when they run. Oh, I didn't even mention that in the start. Oh, go on, Stefan. Kill this one quickly. Oh, imagine hearing Make that. that one suffer. You 
see this, the Vampire Diaries? That logo's changed. Afraid to call this place our home. Oh, early. Dad. He's got a new fresh trim again. His hair gets changed all the time. Something? An animal attack in Memphis. It's the third one this week in Tennessee. Yes, but that doesn't mean that it's Klaus. Keep tonight small, please. Wear something pretty. Are you sure you're still okay on the couch? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Hey, Elena. Happy birthday. So Klaus, oh, his hair looks long now. If Klaus, um, Klaus, if Alaric's staying over, right, what is his intentions then? Like, he doesn't want to stay in, um, in Jenna's room, don't want to stay in the parents' room. So is he going to stay over permanently on the couch? Where's his house? <laughs> Literally. We are out of champagne. Huh. Oh, no. Andy's back. Oh, she's just going to walk in and just see him. <laughs> you heard me. Uh, he is always inappropriate, isn't he? you got to admit, man. I, like, when it comes to Elena, he is inappropriate. Sheriff Forbes gave us another location to check. After almost two months, this could be the clue that tells us Stefan is alive and well and living in Graceland. It's a new lead, Damon. Mm, no way. We haven't had one in a while. Okay, I'll check it out. If I find anything, I'll call you. For a road trip? <laughs> no can do. I have got to work, but I can see if I can get you an address. Am I the only one that likes Andy? Like, I, I, I mentioned it in the episode way better, yeah. Nobody, nobody, I don't think nobody agreed with me. Like... <laughs> I, I literally, I, I really enjoy, like, her being around, like, she, she, it's a good little influence on him, like, she doesn't take any crap as well, like, she was telling her to do something, and she was like, nah, mate, I'm not your slave. <laughs> a summer job is good for you, you needed some normal in your life, is everything okay with you? Yeah, yeah, normal and mundane, come home soon, okay? Fell on the phone, oh, Anna, <laughs> yes. I need you to switch sections with me. Why? Caroline and Tyler just sat in line. When it was over yesterday, she just kept eyeing me. Hey, guys. He thinks we're dating. So does my mother. What? We're together all the time. It's not a leap. Right? Is it crazy? What's up, Ray? Hey, Red. Want to get a beer? Not so fast, mate. You only just got here. Now, your type are very hard to come by. What? A hybrid, right? I'm both. You see, I want to create more of me. Where can I find them, Ray? You can't compel me, it won't work. We're gonna play a little drinking game. Something I like to call Truth or Wolfsbane. Oh. I don't know why you just don't come clean and tell her where we are. Because Andy said this was a half lead, and I don't want to get our hopes up. Yeah, well, they're all half leads. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did not expect that. Vampire for sure. Stefan for sure. There's a reason they call him the Ripper. Oh. Puts the bodies back together. Oh, no way, mate. Back together. <laughs> Definitely Stefan. Trust me, Damon wants to find him. But you kissed him. Probably screwed with his head. Tyler! Caroline released an info. I'm sorry. It was a goodbye kiss. I would. I acknowledge that it wasn't an affectionate kiss, as if to say, like, I want you. It was more just like a. F I, 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 yeah, what what she just said. Like, he, he was dying and he confessed his love, and she was kind of like just saying, she was kind of like giving him back, like, respectfully, so to speak. Just because I tell you things doesn't mean you're allowed to know them. I'm sorry. That is true there. Like, a couple out there. I gotta run if I'm gonna change and pick up Sophie in time. I am horny all the time now. <laughs> I'm sorry about it. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I'm gonna explode. Oh, that's just like, let's just like go upstairs now. Yeah. <laughs> ah, go on. See you later. Yeah. Get lucky with our cars, mate. I love Caroline. See you later. Dark. Where the hell has he got that can from? Like, does, does everybody just chill with one of these? Like, literally. I know, I know, you live by code and all that, but see, he's not gonna let me stop until you tell me, and I do whatever he says. Wow, that's really good. He's got a gun on him. My brother's still on our trail. He's getting close, son. You saved my brother's life. I'm in your service. I'll make sure that my brother doesn't bother us anymore. It's your party. You can cry if you want to. 
Right, is it me or something, right? But is this whole episode one giving me the vibe that they're going to play as Elena and Damon couple storyline for this whole season? And I was all for it in season one, but not now we're on season three. I don't really... I don't really care for it. I don't want him to be with it. I don't want these two to be together, to be honest. No matter how much he says that he, he loves her and stuff, I want him to be with someone, I was going to say better, but, like, it's not that like she's crap. Like, I want him to be with, yeah, she wants to be with Stefan, and, and he needs to be with somebody else, not her, anyway. I like Andy. I actually do like her. But I kind of think that he needs to be with a, a vampire, the same as him. Oh, no. Damn it. Oh, a necklace. They're too intimate together, like, honestly. Do you know what? I can definitely understand me, like, people who are Team Damon, because this show, right, you do definitely, I can tell already, like, I'm only starting season three, and I can tell there's either a Team Damon or Team Stefan. Now, if you really love Stefan, right, you're going to hate this Elena and, and Damon storyline, because I think it's a, I don't think that they should go that route. I think that they should keep it separate love interest but oh, i can see chaos being caused if these go down that caroline she has to for a small party <laughs> uh henry from the kitchen saw me a dime she has a high I seeing everyone you would be tripping all over else. go for it things i shouldn't be seeing what's bonnie say about it <laughs> no i haven't told her i haven't told anybody Skill. hey guys Matt, hey. Oh, imagine them two. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> Chaperone teacher from hell. I love high school parties. Isn't Andy supposed to be coming? 10 o'clock broadcast should be here in a little bit. Okay, I, I, I am the last person here again. They have enough work, please. I, can we just, can we do this in the AM? I have a party I have to get to and you have got to get a life. Not cool, my retinas are burning. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> it's Stefan. Hold it. We have been looking everywhere for you. Oh, his face is changing. He's living up to his ripper name, isn't it? He used to love it in the past, and now he's rekindling his love for the old murdering, hunting down people. I swear, every time I big up somebody, yeah, they always get killed. So I'm, uh, from now on, yeah, I'm not going to big up nobody. <laughs> you only said five words to me all summer, and those were four of them. Maybe because every time I've seen you, you've been with him. Because he's my friend. <laughs> Great party, Caroline. Thanks. Now leave it. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, that's funny, that. This room's off limits. Oh, it's Caroline. Caroline? Sorry. With your life until you've made a wish and blown out the candles. Is that what you all want me to do? Just get on with my life? I don't think anyone wants to see you like this. I'm not going to give up on finding stuff in Caroline. Of course not. I'm sorry. They go right. Did she say before who she's speaking to? She said to something that, mate, every time she gives Damon information, he, he seems to like pass it off. It's like he doesn't want to find Stefan. I, I mean, I might imagine that conversation. I imagine a lot of things. But now she's just <laughs> she's just walked past that cabinet and she's seen that he's got his own little map out. It's like Charlie Day in there, in there. So only sunny in Philadelphia where he's got all all the things on the board and all his arrows everywhere and his strings attached to different locations. She's seen it. She's probably gonna come back later and realize that Damon actually does care about Stefan and he's actually trying to hunt him down when she all, for all this time never thought that he actually cared. Damon's been tracking him without me. Why wouldn't he just tell you? I saw your closet. Oh, oh, I gotta go, gotta go break up beer pong. Wait, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> saw your latest artwork in Tennessee. Walking a fine line there, my friend. Keep that up and there will be no saving you. I can't move, David. He told me that I can't move. No, 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 it's okay, Eddie, stay calm. You can move now. No, 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 no. I can't believe you I just said... killed her. Let me go. Fucking hell, it's brutal, that, innit? I'm pissed off that she's died, honestly. I really am. Like, I'm literally fuming. I can't believe he just killed her. Honestly, she's not even, like, a great character. She's been in it much, but I'm just not happy. <laughs> I'm not happy. I can't find my truck. Oh, he's well high. Probably a sign you shouldn't be driving it. Need a ride? You're more stone than I am. <laughs> Help. Oh, shit. No. If 
I shouldn't be dating, all you gotta do is say something. If you don't say something, oh. then I'm gonna keep dating. What would I say? Well, don't do that, Caroline. I've already been there once with you, okay? And you said no. Hey, <laughs> shut up now. What are you doing here? Why didn't you tell me? Why did you keep it a secret? We not do this right now. I'm having a really bad night. Me, what you know, Damon. I know you need to get back to your party. The trail of body parts up and down the eastern seaboard. No, you're wrong. I've seen it happen before. Stefan is gone and he's not coming back. Not in your lifetime. That was kind of brutal what he just said, but it wasn't it wasn't bad. <laughs> They've got the oh, lunches. <laughs> <laughs> or Elaine and Mr. Salisbury can see what a bad example Mr. Salisbury. Are you sure you can walk? All right, you said my sister's name. Why? Oh, he's I've been seeing it together. Her. You're going to ask Alicia? Yeah, I mean, I think I see her all the time, too. Oh, here we go. It's because I miss her so much, so, you know, like, I want to see her, so I do. That was okay, that conversation. I thought Matt was going to be a dick, but he wasn't. <laughs> He'll thank me for it later. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, Adam. <laughs> I don't care about anything anymore. You put on a good show, Stefan. I almost believe you. In bed, we might end up together. You're not any good to anybody right now. You're 18. You can do all this alone now. Most nights I hardly rain as I stay. Right, imagine these had a kid, right? What would happen? Would it be a hybrid? <laughs> Go on, son, get it out. Go on, get it out. I was definitely wrong before. I was saying Stefan likes it. He fucking doesn't like it, does he? Look at him, it's like to ripping him apart. He is the ripper in a different way. <laughs> His heart's the ripper, mate. He's getting ripped apart. You'll be okay. I love you, Stefan. Hold on to that. Gives me hope that we don't have a Damon and Elena love story coming. Because <laughs> I am all for Team Stefan and Elena. Like I said, I wanted Damon to get with somebody else. I want him to let his anger out. Just fucking go smash that house up, Damon. Like, literally, get it out. Shut, like, it shows me that you're caring. Stefan's good as well. Like, he's literally doing all he can to survive and to protect everyone. Um, no matter how hard it must be so hard like right I know that I didn't acknowledge it much now but when you look back at it from here to before when he killed Ander how hard must that I mean obviously it's tight on Ander real tight and it's tight on Damon as well but how, how much how hard was that for Stefan to do must have been absolutely solid leaving so soon oh, I didn't mean to be so oh. Oh, fucking hell, mate. What's this one doing? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, check this assassin, mate. Okay, now it's going to wrap up today's episode. <laughs> did you expect, uh, like, I did not expect that ending there. Uh, Tyler's mum, literally, Mrs. Locker, coming after with, like, a nerf gun, a dart gun, like, literally shooting her. So, what's happened between um, between her getting took for all over the banister from the witches? to to this transition here i know someone did mention that she's acting different i think caroline may have mentioned it earlier on in the episode that her mum was acting sketchy with her but whose side is she working on i mean she can't be working on klaus's side because he's not he's not even there do you know <laughs> he's not even in that vicinity where are we going to start with damon stefan and elena obviously I, I i was getting the vibes that they was going to try and play another damon and elena storyline throughout the season which i don't want to happen uh stefan's obviously going on a mad one doing anything that klaus says to him he's going around killing all these innocent people literally torturing them he's just killed Andy in front of damon told him to leave him damon's obviously stressed out now he's gone back smashed his bedroom up he's literally uh, lashed out at elena not badly but he's saying mate he's never coming back in your lifetime Lead, need to let him go um tyler and obviously carolina looks like they've just slept together there <laughs> They were both saying that their sexual drives has literally been enhanced like tenfold, like since obviously they've transitioned. Uh, what well, forgot Jeremy? He's seeing the goal still. He's still seeing Anna, and he's still seeing um, he's still seeing Vicar. Matt heard him say Vicar, but he said that as well. He's high, and um, 
he thinks he sees her all the time because he misses her. He's always thinking about her, which is quite, it was quite nice actually to drop that little bit in. Bonnie wasn't in it, but we've seen her on a video call. And yeah, it's just strange. So Elaine is 18 now. Alaric's left. He's saying that, you know, she's old enough now to look after herself. Um, it seems like he wants to look after himself. <laughs> he was saying that he's drinking too much and he's not giving a good example. Um, and it, yeah, yeah, I think he just needs to focus on himself. I really hope that Alaric plays a big part in season three. And going forward, I think he's a great character. I really do enjoy him. And he's always just in and out in little phases. And I want him to be here like a lot. Um, but where's Damon go from here now? So he's tracking. he was tracking Stefan and Klaus. He's found him. Stefan told him, don't come after him. Um, you know, he doesn't want to be found. He's, he's literally there to do the stuff for Klaus. And he's doing it. We've got... Him as well with Elena, seems that storyline, but Elena's just kiboshed that at the end. She just said to Stefan, just know that, mate, I love you, like, I'll always love you. And I, 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 I can't remember what she said, she didn't say I'll wait for you, but she was pretty much saying that I love you, hold in there. Um, so that's good, hopefully it, it, it nulls that storyline that I was thinking about Damon and Elena. But what is Damon, where's Damon going to go from here, like, what is his storyline? To be honest, going, going into this season... I don't really know what the storyline is going to be. Kind of envisioned it last season uh, when we went in. Catherine was there and I knew that like, chaos was going to break out. Then after a few episodes, we was finding out about the originals and the werewolves and it was literally playing straight away. And, and that got the feel of it. Werewolves, vampires going through and then Klaus at the end. And now we started this season. I, I literally have no idea what the story is. Like, I, I don't know what they do. I know Klaus is... Going around, the only thing I picked up is Klaus is trying to go around and find werewolves. I'm guessing he's going to slowly transition packs. Like, you just give that guy's blood and he's killed him. I'm guessing he's going to see if that works. Because if it does, then he's got to go to his pack. He's going to transition them and he's going to try and make his own hybrids. That's the only thing I know about the season. I don't know anything about any other character and where we're going to progress. So it's exciting stuff. It's like a blank slate. Hopefully new characters come in. I really want Damon to have a new love interest. Maybe new characters that could just join the team. Doesn't have to be a vampire, witch, or wolf. Just new characters that come in. They could be love interests or they could just make the story better. Like, um, I really enjoy new people. So if you guys are excited to move on and progress into episode two, uh, please uh, smash the like on the button. Subscribe if you're new fans. Click on my video. I really, really do appreciate it. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.